so now we are uh, going to discuss about step 8 this will be uh, interesting since we are going to enter the data of first attachment path which is 4 and rn1 in nfpa 13 hydraulic calculation form or we can say it as pipe analysis form so what we are going to uh, do initially is uh, just a moment i will just take uh, one color now okay so initially what we are going to do is we are going to calculate the water flow through the attachment paths attachment paths to determine the equivalent k factor i will discuss this one why we are going to calculate the equivalent k factor okay so once we finish this uh, attachment path calculation then we will move ahead with the primary path calculation just i will erase this one this particular point so we can have some space to draw the isometric once again we can draw the isometric so that it will be easy for us to understand okay so just i am going to erase this particular thing these points just a moment so this will be quite interesting so so that actually we are going to you know work on the calculation from this particular step previously whatever uh, data which we already uh, you know calculated will be helpful to enter in the hydraulic calculation form okay now it has been arranged erased so now what we will do just we will draw the isometric so now i am going to draw the isometric this will be the flange gate wall check wall and it is going like this we have one point uh, here one riser second will uh, second rise will be here and third for it will be here somewhere okay so i am just going to draw the sprinkler this is four and this is r and one so just we will take only this particular thing and we will enter the data in pipe analysis form or hydraulic calculation form so i will take one more color so one second we have this color okay so what i am going to do just i will elaborate this one okay this will be four node four and this will be r n one so this four node is here i mean this pipe is directly connected to the sprinkler so i am considering only one node okay if you consider uh, this as separately sprinkler and this as separately you need to put one more node here okay so just a minute now we are considering like the sprinkler is directly connected to the pipe okay just you need to remember this here the dimension uh, which we have already is about seven feet you can check here and the pipe size is one inch okay we have this data and we already know the k factor of the sprinkler 5.6 and elevation elevation we know that the branch line is 16 feet height from finish floor level and uh, q of the sprinkler is or flow from one sprinkler will is area into density which means area is already we calculated 126 square feet into density for ordinary hazard group one is 0 0.15 so the flow from this sprinkler will be 18.9 gpm so now uh, we will enter uh, the data whatever we have uh, in this uh, hydraulic uh, calculation form i will just erase this uh, these things so that um, we have some space and we will discuss uh, thoroughly in that just a minute i'll just uh, try to erase all these things we'll discuss once again this one okay so i will zoom it for you this table and then we, you can now uh, have a look on that 
okay so this is okay the space looks uh, clear now okay here also we will delete this this is already in the table which is on your screen okay so now what we will do we will just uh, zoom it and only we will try to understand now the particular table so okay here uh, one second just i'll take out the eraser okay now it's okay fine it's it is working so here this form shows node 1 node 2 elevation 1 elevation 2 k factor q is nothing but flow this capital q is total flow nominal id of the pipe actual id of the pipe fittings quantity and equivalent length if you want to learn more about this you need to watch my uh, video on nfpa 13 series friction loss calculation okay here this is the length uh, of the pipe this is the equivalent uh, fitting uh, length and this will be the total length okay now we have c factor c factor for black steel pipe is uh, 120 this also you can find in the same friction loss calculation video and we have total pressure elevation pressure and friction losses or friction pressure you can say now again i will draw this uh, sprinkler this will be four this will be rn1 and this is seven feet one inch this sprinkler k factor is 5.6 so here uh, in this table we are going to write node 1 is nothing but 4 so we mentioned 4 and then node 2 will be rn1 so node will be 4 rn1 then elevation is 19 feet since we already know that the branch line elevation we discussed before is 19 feet so both are on the same elevation since i am considering this uh, sprinkler is directly on the pipe so elevation there is no change so both are on the branch lines so it will be 19 feet so the k factor for the sprinkler we already know 5.6 okay this q is the flow from sprinkler so flow from sprinkler is 18.9 gpm how did we get from this formula q equal area from one sprinkler multiplied by density so 126 square feet we already calculated before multiply by 0.15 gpm per square feet density we are getting about 18.9 gpm so this thing we have entered here okay now i will discuss this later on okay now we are going to enter the nominal id of the pipe this we already said that this pipe is one inch so actual dia is 1.049 so for black steel pipe so this one you can find from any manufacturer uh, data you can find all these things or nfpa 13 also mentions about this okay for the fittings since uh, we have like this here it is going to the other sprinklers and so on so here we have one fitting this is called t so t uh, you know is attached to the pipe and the energy we would lose to friction by going through that fitting is same as if you went through five feet of pipe if you want to know more about this one you need to check my video friction loss calculations in nfpa 13 video series okay i already mentioned uh, here on your right hand side you can check this highlighted video to know more about this okay so we have only one t so from one t we will lose five feet or the friction loss is five feet okay so we are going to mention these details this length is seven feet means length of the pipe so from 4 r and 1 the length of the pipe is 7 feet from this drawing so 7 feet we mentioned then fitting equivalent length is 5 feet so total will be 12 feet then we mentioned since for black steel pipe c will be 120 so there is a formula to calculate the friction loss so basically you can find in my uh, video series uh, p equal to 4.52 this is called has in williams formula q power 1.85 divided by c power 1.85 and into d power 4.87 or for black steel pipe uh, nfpa has given this has converted into this particular form 
so into q power 1.85 so by putting our q here so q will be 18.9 gpm and we are going to multiply this with 10 power minus 4 and 5.1 so we are going to uh, get about just a minute i will check 0 0.117 yes it's correct so 0 0.117 that one we will mention it here so now what we need to do this is the friction loss per foot this you need to remember okay now what we will do this will the pressure total or total pressure we call it as this how we will get 11.4 psi we are getting from this particular formula p equal to q divided by k square q we already have 18.9 gpm this capital q is small q only at this moment later on it will change uh, 18.9 divided by k factor we already know 5.6 whole square so here we are going to get 11.4 psi so this total pressure will be 11.4 psi i believe you people are understanding well okay if you have any doubts or clarification you can uh, anytime email me or you can just put your comments in the comment section so that i'll be happy to explain you once again if you have any queries related to this particular topic so elevation is zero we mentioned why because 4 and r and 1 both are on the same elevation since we already mentioned here elevation 19 feet for node 4 or uh, node 1 we can call it as at uh, fourth point and uh, for node r and 1 the elevation is also 19 feet so both are on the same elevation so it will be zero only so here friction loss will be uh, you know we, we shall multiply total uh, length in feet 12 feet multiply by this friction loss per foot so pf will be 12 multiply by 0 0.117 so we are going to get about 1.4 so we mentioned the same thing here so now we just add initially the total pressure was 11.4 based on the formula but after adding the elevation head and also frictional losses we got about 12.8 so if you want to cross verify uh, you know by using q equal to k root p flow if you want to cross verify the flow from one sprinkler so k is 5.6 and root p p is we calculated as 11.4 so if you multiply 5.6 with uh, root 11.4 we will get 18.9 gpm only okay so now finally uh, just i will take some space out here yeah i think below yeah we have some space here left so finally, we'll calculate the equivalent K factor at R N one. Okay, this is R N one. This is the sprinkler. This is fourth node. This particular point, we'll calculate the equivalent K factor. We already got the flow from the sprinkler. Now we'll calculate the equivalent K factor. So the formula is Q divided by root total pressure. So Q will be, uh, we already got 18.9 GPM divided by root 12.8. So we shall get 5.28. So equivalent K factor is 5.28. Just, uh, you know, this you have to make a note. So this also included here. We shall discuss uh, regarding the other attachment path in our next class i hope uh, you people understand this uh, particular subject or topic if you have any queries you can just uh, email me and uh, one more time i will tell you that you need to watch these two videos hydraulic calculations as per nfpa 13 and friction loss calculations along with all the steps which i discussed previously to understand this particular project example step one to step seven also you have to go through so that you will get the whole picture of this particular hydraulic calculations. Calculations.